Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss out on anything at all, hit the notification bell. Today we are going to talk about how to fly your drone legally within the United States. First thing you want to do, you have to weigh your drone. If your drone weighs less than 250 grams, there is nothing you need to do. Go fly, go have fun, just don't hurt anybody. Step two, if your drone weighs more than 250 grams, then you need to register either yourself or you have to register your drone, depending if you are flying as a hobbyist or if you're flying for commercial work. If you are flying as a hobbyist, you go to the FAA website, you put your information in to register yourself, give them five bucks, you're good for three years, and then you do it again every three years. The other piece that you need to do if you're flying as a hobbyist is you need to either be a part of a community-based organization such as the Academy for Model Aeronautics, the AMA, or you have to get your Part 107 Remote Drone Pilot License. One of those two steps. You do those, you are good to fly as a hobbyist. And that's all there is to it. If, however, you want to fly your drone and do commercial work, such as taking pictures, video, whatnot for everybody, or if you want to monetize your YouTube channel, make money that way with your drone videos, yeah, that actually counts as commercial use, then you need to go to the FAA website and you have to register, but this time you're going to register your drone and each drone that you plan on flying for commercial work. It's $5 just like for registering yourself for each drone. And again, you have to do that every three years. So that's the first step. Then you have to get your part 107 remote drone pilot license. You can join the AMA if you want, but it's not required if you're flying commercially because you can't be flying as a hobbyist and doing commercial work with the AMA. You only can do that with your remote drone pilot license. So you go to the FAA website, you sign up to take the test, you give them 150 bucks, you take the test and pass it, then you are good to go, you just follow the rules. And now your remote drone pilot license, that's good for two years. There's only one other thing that you need if you want to fly FPV. That is your amateur radio license, also known as a ham license. So the reason that you need that is that your equipment all needs to be FCC Part 15 compliant. If it's not FCC Part 15 compliant, then you need to be able to make sure that you're not going to interfere with uh, transmissions and stuff that you shouldn't be interfering with. That's why you need the license. It's not, um, has nothing to do with the video itself. It has to do with the equipment that you're using. So for instance, if you have equipment that is FCC Part 15 compliant, it'll have the little sticker on there, you know, just like you've seen the little FCC sticker on there, then you don't need your ham license. But if it doesn't, then you do. Now, for example, if you are going to fly your, um, your DJI Phantom, your DJI Mavic, and you're flying it with the screen, that's technically FPV, but the DJI products are all FCC Part 15 compliant. So there's nothing that you need to do. You don't have to have your license. If, however, you're building your own, unless you get uh, the right kind of equipment and you follow um, the setup so that it's FCC Part 15 compliant, then you need to get your ham license if you want to fly legally. Now, I'm not going to say whether or not I believe that you really should do all these things or shouldn't do all these things. That's up for a different kind of debate. I'm just giving you the rules and regulations as they are, and it's up to you to decide if you want to follow them or if you want to break them. So that about wraps up for today. I'll have links down in the bottom for all the information on the FAA, the AMA, getting your ham license, all of that stuff. You can go read it, get all the nitty gritty details on everything, but that's basically the gist of how you, uh, how you fly your drone legally in the US. Hope you guys have a great day. Never stop flying.